Hello, I'm Reverend Debbie and we're at Gislingham Primary School, which is the South Hartersmere Benefice. On a Wednesday morning at Gislingham Primary School, we have a toddler and babies group. And this started last summer when um, I felt God calling me to, to start a mums and tots group. I'm a lightwave pioneer and this is an expression of mission in the benefice. We have a small group that meet and pray for the, the mums here and we're looking to share Jesus with them. From the word go, it's been a really moving experience. Um, we were coming out of lockdown and the positive things were happening from the first day when mums who hadn't been able to meet with other mums were able to talk and share for the first time, sharing what it is to be a mum, sharing the difficulties and the joys. And we also saw that in the way the babies interacted with each other and the toddlers started to play and talk. One of the most wonderful things was being able to share Jesus and it came out of the blue in the most unexpected way. I was doing um, tummy time with one of the little babies. It's something I enjoy doing and just talking and chatting with the baby. And the mum was chatting with me and suddenly she asked about baptism. I made the assumption it was for her baby, but as we started to talk, I realised it wasn't just for the baby, it was for the mother as well. And she asked about Jesus and what it was to follow Jesus, and I lay on my tummy, talking to the baby, but also sharing the gospel with the mum, and that has been something that's inspired me and been the most amazing part of our journey. I think you have to come and sit in the group to really see the way that it blesses the community, to hear the conversations, to see the support networks that have been built up. The blessing happened from the word go is as young families have been able to, to get to know each other and form friendships and when you listen to the mums talking they're, they're not just talking about incidental friendships, they're thinking about long term friendships both for themselves and for their children. So the blessing is for the village in that these are the, the villages of the future. They're going to be growing up together and being living lives together. So the blessing has started straight away. We've also seen the blessing as the school has been so wonderful to let us come in and use this space. And again, it's building bridges between the community, the school and the local church. I've learned on my journey to listen to God and then to step out. And sometimes that stepping out, you sort of think, is this really what God's asking? So to step out when I thought it was a toddler group God was saying and to see the immediate impact has really inspired me. When I was ordained last July, the first week back, another mum came and asked for her two children to be baptised. And it really affirmed me that God has called me to the role and the place that I'm in. And that makes me steadfast in him, even when sometimes it does feel a bit of a rocky road. When you're running groups, there's always a need for help. First and foremost is to know that people are praying and supporting us in prayer. But also, because I'm a lightwave pioneer, I know that my time here is limited. So there's a constant prayer for who will be here to continue the group, to grow team. So the prayer would be to have more people to help and support us in this. Some of the mums have already spoken about baptism for their babies. So there's a flow happening from here, from the group, out into the local church as well. And as we nurture these families and as we look to do other ways of expressing church, for example, through Starting Right, we hope that this will help to strengthen the links between this small group, the Light Wave group and the local church. If you have any more questions or you want to know more about what we do, please do follow the link. Thank you.